Welcome to My Take by RGV. Today we are going to delve into the details of horror genre uh, made by RGV and his take on the evolution of horror as a genre in the Indian cinema. So Ramu, uh, great yeah. to have you on this. Uh, horror has always been a fascinating domain and a genre for you. Yeah. So your first three movies that were made before Rath were focused more on crime uh, and the mafia. Hmm. So what actually fascinated you uh, about horror and when did you really make a call to, uh, to, to create yeah. a movie around horror? See, actually the first film I wanted to make was um, Rath. I, I didn't come with uh, Shiva script. But uh, at that point of time, because uh, some of the studio felt that journal might not have enough takers in the audience and things like that. And the fact that they have an in-house uh, hero, Nagarjuna. So they wanted me uh, to do, write something for Nag, keeping Nag in mind as an actor. So, which is the reason I kind of uh, postponed the making of uh, Rath. But th that was my pet project I, when I came in. I, I used to go everywhere narrating the story of Rath, not, not uh, Shiva. You know? I think the one reason is most of the directors, if you look at it, uh, they're fascinated by like even Steven Spielberg's first film is a, a film called Something Evil. Mm -hmm. It's like a TV film he made. Uh, this is a horror genre. And uh, so every director of any name you would, you would see, he would touch that genre sometime or other. Like uh, Francis Coppola made uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. And uh, almost everyone, you know. So the point is, horror, I think, uh, directorially it requires uh, what do you call uh, the craftsmanship uh, a horror film will require will be much more compared with any other genre, you know. So I think uh, because there is a psychological aspect to it, you are manipulating the audience and you are trying to play a game with them and to scare them just when they least expect. Yeah, uh, it you know. So I think it's a, I think it's a lot of fun to make a horror film. I would think, yeah. <laughs> so uh, mafia movies of yours were highly inspired by The Godfather. Uh, while you were while you were a student, uh, did you read any horror literature? Or? I used to read quite a lot of horror fiction. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. But and uh, I think and if, as a film, probably the most influential film was The Exorcist, uh, William Fried, uh, Friedkin's film. You know. And apart from that, I used to see quite directly Dr. House of Horrors and, uh, and uh, uh, most of the haunted uh, films, you know, these, these kind of films. I was a very, very heavy horror film buff, yeah. Great. So, till you made Rath, uh, the Indian horror has a very stereotypical uh, image. Yeah. Particularly the 80s and 90s of horror was dominated by Ramse Brothers. Yeah. It was all about haunted houses. Um, you know, mm. spirits that were moving around with vengeance and ancient curses and stuff. Yeah. And when Rath came, it shook the world because it had no element of the stereotypical horror movie in yeah. it and yet it made an impact. So what went into... See, I, I would think, you see, the Ramse Brothers film are leaning towards gore. I mean, there is a like lot of blood, there's a lot of, uh, I mean, cutting and uh, things like that, which, ki which kind of make you turn your face away. I mean, there are audience also for that, I'm not saying no. But for me, horror is always psychological. I mean, what, what you don't see scares you much more than you sh show a horrific image of uh, someone. You know, if you, if you look at The Exorcist, it's a nearly two hour, 40 minute film. And uh, all the horror scenes together, I don't think they will fill in 10 minutes also in the film. <laughs> you, know, you know, but the fact, the believability of the of the happenings and the performances and the characters and uh, that is what which makes it so memorable. White uh, White uh, stood the test of I think it must be nearly fifty years now by the time the Exorcist came. And uh, similarly, quite quite a few like like the Paranormal Activity series, for example, The Conjuring. Hmm. I think they do a lot of mind play. And a lot of people don't understand when when you say that uh, what, what is it exactly a mind play in a horror film, you know. See, for let's say for example, uh, see, scare isn't always in your mind, it's in your own imagination, you know. So you kind of prompt it to the audience to imagine something. So they're kind of primed up to, to feel the fear. The only thing is to do that when they least expect it. See, one is something where the horror keeps growing, uh, you know, 
another thing when you least expect you kind of do a jump scare and they jump out of the seat you know so both of them have their own value but the exorcism especially i think is different because uh, it seeps into you it it is a, you carry the fear back home i never experienced anything like that in any film except for the exorcist yeah i want to explore another aspect you are an atheist hmm. so as an atheist did you ever believe in the fear of uh, ghosts and the evil uh, what actually goes into an atheist yeah. mind see i would like to say see when i say i'm an atheist i mean i i never said you could see i'm i'm just like a one of the trillions of creatures uh, created by some force even if you call it god for the matter you know but the point is i do not believe they, it it makes a difference to god about us that's what i believe i don't think that i don't say i give a sweeping statement that god is there or not there but both of them are relevant to me because i don't think i fit in the scheme of things of god that is how i look at it now if if the demon is the opposition opposite of a god is a good force and uh, who supposedly created everything and demon is an evil force now it's interesting to see who created the demon why would the god create a demon an opposition oppose of him anyway not getting into that i feel hope is what creates god we hmm. hope for something and we create god because uh, when all else is not there we can rely upon god and similarly fear creates the demon you know like fear of the unknown is actually the most scariest uh, thing so if something in the dark or you hear a sound you don't know the source of that sound coming you know and that is what we scares you the most i'll i'll just give an example so i i was in this uh, flat in mumbai i i just uh, uh, i mean uh, moved just then and i had this one servant boy who also sleeps in the same in the in the kitchen area okay now there is a bedroom and then i come in there's a living room and there is a dining room and there's a kitchen where he normally sleeps okay so the uh, first day by night i woke up in the morning and i switched off the ac and i suddenly heard sound of feet going away from my door you know so i was i thought uh, it was uh, my my boy okay so then i i came out he was not there and then i walked into the kitchen he was still sleeping hmm. so i thought maybe uh, there was another room adjacent from that room he went and i must have just heard the footsteps is what i thought you know and the second day again i switched off the ac and again i hear the sound of the feet going away <laughs> you know so this time i i found it very very uncanny you know then again i went in to see that guy still sleeping in the kitchen <laughs> so the third day this time i i went to the door and i switched off the ac mm. you know and i opened the door and i heard the, i heard the sound and i braced myself opened the door and i ran into the kitchen and he still sleeping i i know it's impossible that can happen right so the fourth day what i did was i without switching off the ac i came to the door and i suddenly opened it hmm. you know and there was nobody hmm. i went in i went to the kitchen he still sleeping i came back into the room and then he switched off the ac again i heard the sound so it was no it is on the ac <laughs> when the ac kind of withdraws you know the kar 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 that was matching to the sound of footsteps going away so this whole experience what was happening nothing except for my mind is playing tricks exactly. on me so it's a psychological it is psychological yeah 